Hi everybody. I am in the Chicago market. Uh, I do many apps and I try to pick the ones that pay me more money. So that's what you should do. You should just sign with at least four apps that you think will pay good money. And sometimes they don't all pay good money. So, but at least you have options here. So you can turn all of them on, have four phones or four, like two phones and two, ta whatever, two tablets. At least you have four devices on, have them all on and you pick and choose instead of just limiting yourself to one app. See now, I believe it or not, I signed also with uh, Lyft, even though both Uber and Lyft suck, but sometimes, you know, if I am like, if I'm doing uh, like uh, Walmart delivery, or Instacart and I end up in an area like in the middle of nowhere so so that helps me you know getting getting a trip to take me back to a busy area so so you have to mix and match like they say so uh, and my opinion about Lyft is you have to work with them when they have bonuses, you know? So sometimes they have like an hour bonus, they call it, you know? And sometimes, and uh, see here, it says 367. They're saying that they are giving the driver 70% of the payment, of the passenger payment after fees. The after fees thing is questionable because there is no way to prove that they really that's the that's the fees that they really pay so but at least it looks like they given a little bit more more to the driver than uber i'm not trying to promote uber or lyft or you know but if if that's what you do for a living which is gig apps that's what I'm saying is just don't limit yourself to one just have them all on and at that at that moment see uh, who who's paying you more see now I am having uber left Walmart spark and instacart is going on at the same time so and I am waiting for one that like pays well so that's what you should do so, see now, see this is, uh, I'm, I'm having Uber and Lyft in the same phone. See, this is Uber. And Uber sucks lately. So that's the reason why I signed with Lyft. So at least I have other option. Plus Walmart Spark sucks also because the people are using uh, this uh, third party software to steal orders. I, I commented uh, about that in my other videos and Walmart Spark is not doing anything about it and um, with Instacart they just load the, uh, too many orders on you and make it hard for you to make money because you spend a lot of time in the damn store because people keep adding more stuff while you're shopping that's the worst thing about Instacart and then they will say, oh, add this thing, add that thing, you know. And then if you, most of the time you don't find the items, then you have to, to chat with the customer. And then they will give you like two different, two or three different, uh, like they call it batch, you know. They will give you shopping for three different customers in the same transaction. So you go crazy in the store shopping for three different people trying to figure out who's who's who who's who's and which is which which item goes to who's to which customer and uh, they all in one cart so go figure out which one goes to where and then you get a message from that one then the other one sends you a message while you're doing the shopping so you have to do a million things at once that's what i don't like about instacart i only take only one if there is an order for one customer i'll take it and of course if, if it's paying tip because these people without the tip instacart is does not pay you well unless 
I mean, the only way you can make money with Instacart if you get paid, if the customer adds tip, you know, that's the only way you make money. Other than that, forget it. So uh, with this, I'm ending this uh, video. I hope I hope that will that helps, especially for if you're a new driver.